Hey guys, Boshit here, and welcome back to Know Your Shit. I'm happy to announce that the Gary's Mod add-on Stop Motion Helper has received a version 2 update, making it more stable and easier to use than ever. Today we're going to be covering all the features in this tutorial and how to get started using them. Just keep in mind, this isn't a tutorial that's going to teach you how to do stop motion animation well. That's what practice is for, so I'm here to just cover the tool's features and let you go from there. Once you've subscribed to the add-on and you load your map in Gmod, the first thing you're going to want to do is bind a key to start using the add-on. The first and most important action that you'll want to bind to a key is plus smh underscore menu. Once bound, hold said key and you'll see the stop motion helper timeline down below. If any of you have worked with keyframes before, this is going to look very familiar to you. Let's go ahead and get uh, G-Man out here so we can animate him as an example. Once out, hold the SMH menu key and drag your cursor over him and right-click him. You'll notice he now has a green outline, which means he's been selected to be animated. Now pick a starting pose for G-Man and hit the record button over here, and you'll create a keyframe on the timeline. Every keyframe position you record will be a green block on the timeline. You can then hold left click and drag it around the timeline. You can hit the middle mouse button while dragging to create a copy of the keyframe, or you can right click the keyframe to delete it from the timeline. Alright, let's make G-Man raise his hand. First, let's drag the white marker about 10 frames over from our first keyframe and leave it there. Now let's just go ahead and position G-Man accordingly, and we'll even change his face too, just for good measure. Once ready, open the SMH menu again and hit the record button. Keep in mind, there's also a key binding you can use to record a keyframe if you prefer that. The command is simply SMH underscore record. Anyway, now we have one successful animation transition. Leaving several empty frames between recorded keyframes creates a gradual tweening from one keyframe to the other. Dragging the keyframes closer together makes the transition faster, while dragging them further apart makes the transition slower. Just bear in mind, be careful if you decide to drag and drop one keyframe on top of another, because if you do that, the dropped in keyframe will replace the one that you set it down on, so be sure that's what you really want to do before you do it. Now this linear tweening transition looks kind of robotic, doesn't it? It's clearly missing the feeling of weight to it without a slower easing beginning and end, right? Well, you could manually animate that easing effect yourself, which takes several minutes, or you can automate the process easily in seconds. Let's highlight a keyframe, and you'll notice two extra options have come up, Ease In and Ease Out. Ease In will affect the frames approaching your selected keyframe, and Ease Out affects the frames leaving it. You can apply both to the same keyframe if you want. For this example, let's go ahead and select our first keyframe, and let's apply a 1 to the Ease Out option, and then we'll go to our second keyframe and apply a 1 to the Ease In option. The results are subtle, but they make a world of difference, so automating the easing process is going to save you a lot of time in adding smoother, more weighted movements to your characters. If you ever want to add an additional character to your scene, you can do it at any time, and it's as easy as spawning them, opening the SMH menu, and right-clicking them again just like we did with G-Man to work on them. With the old Stop Motion Helper version 1, all your character movements were bound to one single timeline, but in version 2, every character gets their own, allowing you to add them and change their individual movements on the fly without messing with the animations of the other entities. All you have to do is right-click the one you want to work on in the SMH menu and go from there. Now there's three different key bindings you can use to view these frames without opening the SMH menu all the time. The first is SMH underscore next and SMH underscore previous. Both of these keys, when bound and used, go back and forth to every active frame one at a time. To preview several frames at once, bind a key to the command plus smh underscore playback. Now, as you're holding said key, the animation will play from where your white marker is in the timeline until you let go of the key, or until there's no more keyframes placed in the timeline. Need to take a break from your project, but you're not finished with the animation yet? Well, the save and load features in Stop Motion Helper version 2 are now fully operational. Simply open the SMH menu and hit save. Give it a scene name and you're done. 
There's also a command smh underscore quicksave that you can bind to a key if you're paranoid about losing progress, like I often am. Now, the next time you load the same map that you were on last time, all you have to do is spawn the characters you used before. If you have a save game of the scene before you quit, that'll save a lot of time in spawning everything again. Now, let's start with loading G-Man's animation. Open the SMH menu, right-click him, and then hit Load. Now let go of the SMH menu key and select the scene you saved, or the quick save option, depending on what you used. You'll notice upon doing this, all of the characters that had animation data stored within them have been saved in the list to the right. Since we're loading G-Man's animation first, we'll select his model and hit load. Now a mere shift in the white marker within your keyframes will pop the ragdoll right back into action, just as you had them before. Do this for every character involved in the scene, and you're good to go again. When it comes to screenshotting every frame of your finished animation, there's two ways to go about it. The first is the tedious but sometimes necessary method of going to the start of the timeline and hitting your SMH next key, screenshotting it with fraps, rinse and repeat. The other is a quicker method that involves binding the command SMH underscore make JPEG to a key, and then hitting the key once you have your camera view and everything ready. Before you do that though, be sure that the white marker has been placed at the beginning of the timeline, and be sure to reduce your frame countdown so you don't have excess frames beyond what you actually used, or else you'll just wind up with hundreds of useless screenshots long after the animation's finished. Once done, the images will be saved in your local Steam screenshots. Alright, now before we wrap things up, there are currently two extra options within the settings menu to go over real quick. The first one is freeze all, which means if you didn't freeze all of your ragdoll's limbs at the time of recording a keyframe, you can have the option to just let stop motion helper do that for you, so you don't have to worry about a ragdoll's limbs acting up every time a keyframe is reached. The other option is an interesting one that, when checked, disables the animating of bones on limbs that can normally be moved by the fizz gun. Instead, what will be animated is menu-driven stuff, such as the face poser, finger poser, or anything altered by the advanced bone tool add-on. One example of what you can do with this is you can leave only facial animations playing with your plus SMH playback key while you do fizz gun puppeteering with the other hand. It's sure to create some pretty hilarious results based on your level of creativity. More options are likely to become available later, so don't forget that there is a help button that will show you a detailed list of up-to-date tutorials when additions to the add-on are made. And that concludes this lesson on using Stop Motion Helper version 2. Don't forget that if you have any suggestions on the mod, to leave a comment on the workshop page, as new additions and fixes will continue to be made. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.